Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your Raspberry Pi 4 into an Android TV. This is the latest version of Android TV available for Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 2 GB version. You can use a better Raspberry Pi, like a better RAM Raspberry Pi, to make this build, and you will get a better performance out of it. So let's do it. Before starting the video, I would like to tell you that I will divide this video into chapters so you can easily navigate all the chapters from the timeline. So let's get started. First of all, let me just take you to the website of Consta Kang from where you need to download all the required files. This is the website Consta Kang. You need to move to devices, then Raspberry Pi 4. From here, we are going to do this Lineage OS 20, Android TV, Android 13. And from here, we need to download this image the lineage os unofficial constant raspberry pi 4 atv.zip then we need to download this twrp flashable ota package then we need to move down and we need to download this the g apps i have already downloaded everything so let's just go ahead and flash the image to the flash drive in this video i'm going to use the flash drive instead of sd card because usb drive will provide us better speed and reliability over the sd card i'm going to plug in the usb drive to the computer and start writing the image first of all let me just go ahead and open the raspberry pi imager and choose the operating system we need to move down and use custom from here i need to select the image here is the image and now let me just plug in the flash drive now i have inserted the flash drive then click here and i'm using a 30 gigs of sandus ultra then click on write and yes as you can see the writing speed became faster than the normal sd card so i recommend you to use the usb drive for this build that will provide you a better performance so we'll wait for some time i'll fast forward the video and get back to you in a moment now the image is written to the flash drive so click on continue close it and uh, so i need to eject the flash drive and plug it again at this point i'm going to show you the steps how to boot the raspberry pi using a flash drive instead of sd card for that the device is connected we need to look for the file config.txt open it and move down here you can see boot device and dt overlay android sd card that need to be hashed and this one need to be removed now save the file file is saved close the drive eject the drive drive is ejected now when we plug this flash drive to our raspberry pi raspberry pi will start booting using this usb drive now i'm going to connect this usb drive to my raspberry pi and show you the booting process now the raspberry pi start booting up you can see the rainbow screen and uh, from here it will directly take us to the android uh, tv setup guide you can say or just show you the main screen you can see the lineage os log on screen it is searching for the pairing device we can skip this step by clicking on the back button on your remote or if you're using the keyboard you can use the escape key now let's get started and accept english united states and i'll connect to the wi-fi later on in between i'll skip and we have the screen of our android tv now the chapter 3 is we are going to install ota updates on our raspberry pi android machine for that what we need to do we need to copy that particular file to a flash drive through which we can move those files to our raspberry pi and then start writing them to our operating system now i have plugged in a different flash drive to my computer this already contain mind the g apps file and we need to move the other file that is uh, this one ota here once this done what we need to do we need to copy all these file to our internal drive on our pi and then we'll start installing these files to our raspberry pi to make a step further to create a raspberry pi or to use our raspberry pi as an android tv box 
or you can say android tv device it's almost copying up all the files uh, it will take less than a minute once this done we need to eject this is done now the flash drive is ejected we'll get back to our android setup now we are here on our android the flash drive is also plugged in now we need to move click on this plus icon and you can see files here click here click on files i'll use the pointer move to pc mac and start moving these file to my raspberry pi one and here is the second file now both the files are copied to the raspberry pi now move back to the home screen so to boot into the recovery mode what we need to do is we need to navigate to the settings option and from here we need to move to system then go to bottles and then advanced reboot this option need to be checked go back and after that we need to move to restart and then you can see the recovery option now we need to select recovery as we already moved our files to the internal device we can easily go ahead and write down the ota updates now this is the chapter 5 how to write down the ota updates to raspberry pi we already boot into the recovery mode you can see team win and from here we need to select the install option install and we are here in sd card and we need to select install image now you can see it start showing up the lineage os and mind the g apps we'll select the lineage os and then swipe to install it now the same method we can use to install the g apps as well we just need to select the image and then swipe it to the right to install this build to our machine once it's done the play store will be available we just need to sign in to the play store and uh, once we sign in we can go ahead and install all the application that are required by the tv itself you can see the patching system image is showing up on the screen gradually moving forward now once this is done we can reboot the device and reboot to system now we have installed the recovery option is done and the ota is done and we can go ahead and install the g apps now system and then move down to restart and then to the recovery and follow the same step here we are going to install the g apps and this is also done you will find all the links on the Consta Kang website and I also create my document as well. If you want, you can go ahead and check that document. I leave the links in the description and reboot to the system again and it will take us to the normal login screen where we have the Play Store and we can download our apps now. Now this is also done let's go ahead and click on the plus sign and add the play store play store is added let me quickly set up this build and i'll get back to you i'll need to connect to the internet and log into this google play store so we can start downloading the apps and let me just go ahead and do it and i'll fast forward the video and get back to you now i have logged in with my account and uh, i'm ready to download all the application that are required to test let's just download the youtube so we have already completed everything last two steps are to speed up the raspberry pi to do that what we need to do in the first step we need to overclock the raspberry pi now we don't need to edit any file because the raspberry pi settings are already included into this build we can just directly go there and change the settings to overclock our Pi. But before doing that, I would recommend you to use a good CPU cooler for Raspberry Pi. By doing that, your Raspberry Pi will not fried up and you will have a good performance Pi with you and can start using this build. And the last one is to do some settings 
in the developer option that will make the total builds more snappy and uh, more usable i'll show you both the steps before doing that let's just open youtube and check if it's able to play or not because in other builds what happened the the google services will not work let's try this 4k ultra hd and you can see it's working and it depend upon the internet speed as well if you have a better internet speed you will see it's working absolutely fine right now it's uh, running on uh, let's see it's what's the settings it's on 1080p 60 fps we can always move down to 720p or 480 and by doing that it will start working absolutely fine now let me just go ahead and start showing you how you can go ahead and speed up your pi because you can see the performance is little bit slow while playing the videos otherwise it's moving faster uh, so just cut back to the home screen and from here what we need to do is uh, we need to go back to the settings and in the system here is the next chapter we are going to overclock our raspberry pi go to the system move to raspberry pi settings and then move down to this maximum cpu frequency it's set on default 1500 megahertz so we'll take it to 2000 megahertz and by doing this simple step it will overclock your raspberry pi processor now let's move back and do some tuning onto the pi to make it run a little bit faster on the videos and other things that we are going to use so we need to go to about and then on the bottom android tv os build you need to press seven times here to enable the development settings then go back and navigate to developer options from here you need to move down to this option that is right here window animation scale and select dot 5x and with all these options dot 5x so this is done and one more setting that you need to do is show you this one don't keep activities destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it means if we are running youtube and we go back or we press the home key it will destroy that particular activity and when we click on that new activity the new activity will take the ram from the machine so this option also need to be on and this is it you just need to reboot the machine restart the computer to the system and once the restart finished your build is totally up and running you can start using it if you have any questions any query you can write me down in the comment section i'll try to answer your queries and in case you like my work you can hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification for my latest videos and you can see it will start booting up in a moment and it will automatically personalize your you can say the wallpaper or you can say the home screen whenever you open any application it will take a recommendation from the application and start showing up everything on the screen you can see start populating so this is it you can also try to create the build on your raspberry pi and share your experience and thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day